had what point in the end? What did you make of the overall game? Yeah, I didn't think we deserved to win today. Um, it's a really, really tough venue to come to. Um, you know, Davies put together another good team, good signings, good recruitment, and it's so difficult to play against. You know, they and that's a, a compliment, not a criticism. Um, you know, we, we weren't at our best, we weren't at our fluent best out with the first 15 to 20 minutes. We didn't take advantage of our, our dominance. Um, and then it's always a game where it can be a set play or a mistake, which the, you know, the goal came from. Uh, you know, a mistake we get done from a, a free kick. Um, but the character shown and, you know, the options that we have to bring on in forward areas proved to be, you know, really telling. I'm delighted for staff. He's been patient. He's waited his opportunity because people have been playing very well ahead of him. And there's no point I thought we deserved, but we didn't deserve to win. But overall, you know, delighted with the players in terms of their response and their attitude. Yeah, you mentioned that character to keep going and to the to the death and, and to keep that unbeaten run going as well yeah and there's, there's, I don't think there's ever a question of that you know when there's only six minutes left a dubious free kick that leads to the, the goal but we should do better you know we should defend it better but um, as I say the character and the the strength of, of depth that we have in the forward areas meant we could change things a little bit and um, I thought we got our just rewards you know to go unbeaten at this stage in the season I think is it eight unbeaten now then you know it's credit to the players and We'll let them rest up. We'll come back in, in 10 days' time or a week's time and we'll we'll be right on it again. Yeah, a big moment for Stav as well, getting his first league goal. Yeah, it is. And, you know, and the, the subs have made a real contribution. Alex Greaves made a contribution. Toy's made a contribution when he's come up. Mick has made a contribution. So, you know, LJ's made a contribution today. So that's that's what you need. You need competition for places. So Charles done come on and done very well. And, you know, Richard had been booked. Um, and we learned a lesson from the last time here when Marco Howard got sent off. So, yeah, look, it's a, it's a tough venue. As the, the weather got hotter, it's a real, real sticky surface to pass the ball on. Um, and they make it very difficult for you. As I say, that's a compliment. So we'll get out with the point and, and we're very happy with it. You mentioned, obviously, Mika missing out today with his injury. Mark Ahara still not back yet. What is? How are they looking heading into the international break? Yeah, Mark positive. Um, he'll play hopefully 45 minutes in the reserves on Wednesday, which means you know we'll have a full week's training the following week leading into the, the next league game. Um, Mika just pulled up a slight hamstring, very similar to what he'd done at Hibs. Um, it's a judgment call to take a risk on a hamstring. So we, we made that decision to give him 10 days off, um, just take a wee rest on it and, and try and come back stronger for the after the international break. Yeah, when you reflect on this first block of games heading now into the international break, how pleased are you? Really pleased. Um, I think we probably could have had two more points based on our Aberdeen performance. Um, we've shown we can play in different ways. Um, the players have shown they're adaptable and they're getting their just rewards. You know, that doesn't mean anything is taken for granted. We have to come back and do the exact same thing again and there'll be no let up in the intensity or standards that we've set. Stephen, thanks very much for your time. Cheers, James.